Good morning, children. Today we are going to start our second chapter, and it's going to be really, really nice. I promise you, because in this chapter we are going to do loads of activities. The name of this chapter is Shapes and Angles. So, as we had studied little bit in class four, when two lines or line segments they meet at a point, an angle is formed. Do you remember that? And if we see our day-to-day -day life, there are so many things which are forming an angle. For example, this scissor. Can you see this scissor? See, when I open the scissor, this is an angle. When I open it less, the angle is small. When I open it more, the angle. See, I'll just show you. The angle has become big. This is an angle. This is one line segment, and this is another line segment, and these two line segments are meeting at this point, and an angle is formed. Like if we will make them more apart, if the two parts of the scissors we will make them more apart, the angle will become big. This is an angle. Same way, something which is very very familiar with us, the needles of a clock. Look at this clock. There are three needles in this clock. This is hour's hand, the thicker, shorter hand. This is minute's hand, the thicker, longer hand. And this very fine, thin hand is the second hand. And you can see that all these are straight lines, segments, and the, they are making angles. Between each other, right? With they are ma making angles with rather with each other. Also, look at this. This is a part of a tree, not a tree, rather a bush. It's a part of a bush, and you can see that there are different angles. Like this is making an angle. This is making an angle with this. Same way, this. Is making an angle with this. These two are also making an angle. So, children, there are so many things which make an angle. For example, the fingers. You can see two fingers. They make an angle. Can you see this angle? Can you see this angle? So, from our surroundings, we can see so many things make an angle. Now, there is something very interesting which I want to tell you, and that is. Actually, angles are a part of our pizza. You must be wondering, what is this? Okay, I don't have a pizza. I have a cake. So angles are part of this cake. How? I will explain you now. So children, this is a circular cake. It's a circle. I. Cut this circle first into four equal parts like this. First, I cut it into two equal parts, and then I cut it like this into four equal parts. So, if you see this part of the circle, this. If you see this part, this is this side and this side. They are making an angle. Okay, this is one fourth of the circle, one out of four equal parts, right? Now look at this part. This is also making an angle. This side and this side are making an angle, and this is one eighth of the complete circle. So. The angle made by these two sides is smaller than the angle made by these two sides. Please have a look carefully. If you will compare this part, if you will compare this part and this part, this angle is bigger than this angle. You can easily make out this angle is smaller and this angle is bigger. 
so angles are a part of a circle now children look at this this one this piece this piece is smaller than this piece this piece is smaller th this piece is smaller than this piece so it is making a smaller angle can you see it's making a smaller angle so if i arrange them like this this is the smallest angle this is the bigger angle and this is the biggest angle out of these angles so children these two angles the small angles they are acute angles this angle if you see very carefully there is this angle which is actually 1/4 of a circle this is a right angle this is a right angle and these two are acute angles so children i am sure you would have understood that angles are a part of a circle so children this was the introduction to angles i in the next video i will come up with not more cake with more activities thank you very much have a great day